Hey YouTube, this is Doug with the Rise Ranch here today, and today I have another unboxing video um, from Miles over at Impeccable Geckos. So let's get started. So we put a heat pack in there on top. Great. It was taped, but I did open it just to check on the animals. So here is the first one. This is our male uh, Tremper Sun Glow in parentheses <laughs> because there is dots on the head. So um, you know, it is a hypo uh, tremper, uh, close to super hypo. It probably has less than 10 spots, but sometimes we don't consider these guys um, sun glows if they have these dots on their head. But this is a male. Um, wanted to get another male um, because I needed one really badly. I also grabbed a little female from Miles. This is a tremper sun glow. Um, had a clips. So I'm very excited to have these two um, animals in our collection. So hopefully we'll have um, some nice pairings from these two this year. At least that's my hope. And we'll get some better sun glow babies for the future. So yeah, guys, that's a quick little unboxing video. Female sun glow, male sun glow. Um, leopard geckos from Miles. Thank you so much, Miles. These guys will be well taken care of. Um, if you guys don't remember, um, I also got the Murphy's Patternless Female, the Golden Gate Gecko from Miles as a preservation project. We've gotten two one egg clutches and they have both been slugs. So I still have the male in with the female, trying to get that um, fertile egg to kind of help the lineage continue. Um, I might incubate the next egg as male this time and hope for the best. Um, I don't really care if I get a female or male. Technically, our male is younger, but, um, you know, I, it's kind of one thing or the other. So we're just trying to resurrect that project, and if I can use a male to do that, another one, I might do that. Um, because I've been incubating the other eggs for females. But we did have our first leopard gecko hatchling of the year, so let's go take a look at that. Um, so real quick for incubators... Um, sorry if there's a little bit of a mess, but this is going to be our male incubator up here. Um, it's at 90 degrees right now. It's actually 91, but it's about 90 in there. And I have a Tangelo egg incubating because I ran into problems where I needed Tangelo males. So hopefully that will be a nice little Tangelo male with some really beautiful orange. Um, other cool things we got cooking is we have two clutches of African fat tail gecko eggs in here. Um, we have some Umili eggs in here incubating. It's hypo to hypo, they're both fertile right there. And then this is a viper gecko egg I just threw in there. I think it's a slug viper gecko egg. Um, I just paired them. And then last night we got something really cool. I just recently purchased this trio and I have a fertile egg. Um, these are C. Murata, so Central American um, banded geckos, but these are striped um, C. Murata from a special line that has been worked on by Silver Apple Exotics in Wisconsin. So um, very excited, got one fertile egg in there, incubating for the C. Murata. Um, what else do we have in here? Um, Got some radar white knight stuff here, some raptor tangelo slash white and yellow raptor stuff there. I threw two males in there, so we'll see what pops out. Um, got some yellow line blazing blizzard eggs, some super snow uh, to super snow eclipse eggs, some inferno het tremper cross to snow blizzard eggs, um, tangelo cross to super tangelo slash super giant tangelo eggs. There's two tangelos in there. Um, what else do we have? We have uh, Bell Sunglow. To, I think we have two clutches in here, or one clutch now, with another one on the way, something like that. And um, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. We have one raptor cross to a, um, you know, oh, there's another egg back there too. Um, raptor cross to a blazing blizzard male in there too. So a bunch of eggs come in. Um, recently just paired a. Uh, white and yellow gem snow radar het white knight to a sun glow bell. Um, lots changing. I still have to clean the bearded dragon cages, so we won't look at that today. Um, 
So here's the, I don't know if they're gonna be out. This is the C. Muratus that we got. There's a trio in there. Um, seems to be doing well. Um, Koya female. Hoping this girl ovulates soon to cross to the gym, uh, to the Murphy's Patternless males. Here's our Murphy's Patternless female with our Murphy's Patternless male. Um, you know, still having poop and stuff. What else? Uh, Viper gecko males in here somewhere. Super snow female at like night. Oh, this is what I was going to show you. So we have had some cool little babies hatch out lately. And that's the wrong <laughs> tub. Okay, this is the tub. So this is a little radar. Um, two solid eyes. It might be a low expression snow. I really can't tell. Both parents were radars, so it should just be a radar. But it's looking a little like either white and yellowish or something's a little odd about this one. Um, there's no white and yellow in it, so I don't know what this is, but um, it is a radar. It's a Bell Eclipse for sure, 66% uh, head white night. So both it was a radar crossed to a radar. Both parents were 100% head white night. Um, what else we got? This one's cool. So this is a baby pick this gecko we had hatch out recently. And I think it's an A-male. It looks like an A-male to me. It's pretty orange. So this was a brand new baby Pictus gecko we had hatch out, which is kind of nice. Um, so now I have three Pictus geckos. Hopefully this will be a female A-male. That's my hope because I got some really nice snow stuff here. Uh, I'm going to show you this one. I think this is the striped one. I have a striped and banded snow Pictus. So there's the pink um striped snow pick this gecko you can't see these often most people don't have them i do have two snow pick this gecko so this is an amel and an anore gene in one so i'm very excited to have some snows i have two males so these guys will be used in the future to create double hats and other things that i will be selling at one point i'm waiting for him to get a little bigger so that I can cross him to some of my normal females. Um, what else do I got? Right in here is some cool stuff. So these are Western banded geckos. I don't have them labeled, but I got to. Babies that I'm growing up, they're feeding on micro mealworms right now. Um, so I'm very excited for these guys. This is like the C. Muratus, but these are C. variegatus, I believe. Western banded geckos are called C. variegatus. So, really cool stuff going on. A lot of eggs coming. This female is the Jump Snow Radar. Um, white and yellow Jump Snow Radar. 66% um, Poshet Blizzard that we're breeding right now. Um, also, had some really pretty Crested Gecko babies hatch out recently. Some nice pinners, if you can kind of see that up there from a tricolor. Actually, we can see this one a little better. From a tricolor cross to a lavender pinstripe male. So these babies are gonna be top notch once they're bigger. Really excited about those. Um, also have some Xanthic stuff here. Um, and then in here you can see an Oadora manellus gecko in there. So been working with those as well so a lot of different gecko species um we got my chinese cave geckos which are getting really big here's my chinese cave gecko male right there um bunch of baby crested geckos that are going to be for sale here shortly um and i gotta throw in a lay box in this one hopefully that's the goal um, so yeah, a lot of geckos, uh, a lot of different things going on. Hope you guys enjoyed the little unboxing video, of those sun glows. Um, hopefully we'll be having eggs soon. Um, definitely have a lot going on here for sure. I don't know if this female laid eggs. She might have. Nope. No eggs. That's okay. So she's been gravid for a while, but she laid giant eggs before. So, yeah, guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, we definitely have a lot going on here. Here's some EU Milli. 
that goes and this one's out more. This one kind of looks hypo-ish. But yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think, guys. Take care. Bye.